guys welcome to another vlog I'm in the middle of doing my hair which I really didn't want to but I promised Candy I would take her to her best friend's vacation Bible school and I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way because they want to see each other and I found out that her church is literally down the street from my house, like three minutes away. So I'm just gonna do it because I already told her I would. And this week I, um, I've been running a little bit. I took kids out to get his eyes checked. He needed glasses, which I was shocked. So we'll pick those up sometime next week. I took Elvis and Ollie to get groomed today, early this morning. Been taking care of to and from football. And it's been thundering and lightning literally every day. And I was really sort of happy because I was like, that's an excuse where I don't have to take Kendi, but it is sunny, sunny outside, so. They are taking a nap. I'm about to wake them up. They were so upset with me because I made them take a nap, but it was much needed. So I'm gonna wake them up in a minute. I cooked dinner early today. I just did chicken alfredo with spinach and broccoli. I'll feed them before we head out. And it's just gonna be me, Kendi, and Kenzo. Ken has to coach. So, we have so much to do the weekend. We're going to get out and have some fun. We need to do all of our school shopping. And yeah, I'm ready to just get out and do some fun stuff too before I get into the video. I don't know if. And I made a post about it, but I'm saying it because I can actually like talk since typing is totally different. But for anyone that literally thought I knocked Kenzo's tooth out, that is the craziest thing. Like, unless you are a psychotic person, no one literally knocks their child's tooth out. That was me being sarcastic. His tooth was literally already hanging. All I did was barely just boop and the tooth came out. So if any of you thought I took what I said seriously that I knocked my son's tooth out, just know I'm a sarcastic person and that's not what it is. But yeah, I just had to throw that out there. I'm like, that's so weird that people, you have to explain things like, that's common sense. I'm not a psychotic person. I know y'all don't know me like that, but I'm a great parent to my children. And that is just something like I would never do. Like, that's crazy. But anyways, I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna wash my car. I cleaned it out. It smells fresh again. Since I have been slowing down a lot, when I say my days are going so much better. And I also just wanted to encourage any of you, whether you're a parent or not, or married, single, whatever, if you're a person that are that's always like super busy, just try it. If you see that a lot of the time you feel depleted by the end of the day or you're just always so exhausted and you take a moment to reflect and look back and see that you're always on the go, I promise you, figure out whatever way you can to slow down. And it's not an easy thing because it has not been easy for me. But when I do it, my body is thanking me. Like, I, I feel so much better in my mind. I feel so much better in my body. And I feel like also, especially as like a mother, your house flows better when you are in a good place. Like, when you're in a good place mentally, even if you are a single family household, whether you're a father that have your kids or a mother whatever you get what i'm saying your house flows so much better when you are in a good place 
if you're a person that are that's always doing a lot and you're all over the place your house is gonna feel the same vibe and even I noticed plenty of times like I'm so guilty of it my kids behave off of the mood that I'm in like if I'm in the irritated mood because I'm doing so much and I'm tired and I want it like your house flows off of how you are because you're the foundation so if you are a parent and you're irritable sometimes we have to reflect and just take a moment and figure out okay what is causing me this way for me it was just because I need to get back how I used to be but just having a structure if I'm gonna have a routine which is good to have a routine but I think for me it was just I need a structured routine but I also have to train myself to shut off and it it is just been making a huge difference these last few weeks so I just want to encourage you that take a moment do something out of the ordinary that you normally don't do like y'all y'all know me I even went I think two or three times with leaving like my juicing dishes in my sink and I know some of y'all are like girl that don't matter I never leave anything in my sink and I did it on purpose just to train myself like it is okay like I wanted to juice late at night it wasn't too late it was like 10 45 but I wanted to juice and I literally told myself like it is okay leave that stuff in there and as hard as it was I was able to go to sleep rested not having to stay up an extra 10 minutes to do something that I really was dreading doing so try it give it a try and I promise you'll feel a whole lot better Y'all, so I'm in the car. I just told Kendi, I'm so nervous. One thing about me, another fun fact, y'all know I put them in videos every so often. When I get around new people, I'm so shy and nervous. Like, this is my first time going. <sighs> I just told Kendi and Karen, they were wrong for making me go by myself. But Kendi said, me going with you. Kendi said people are gonna be welcoming, just like we are to other people. So at church. I'm gonna listen to her. So, yeah. But we all have on our jeans. Kendi, pop your head out. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Hi. They're acting so good. You know and why? Kendi broke my Because I know she didn't. They're acting so good, you know why? Because they took a nap. So it's 556. I'm excited. It's 556. The church is four, three to four minutes away. So we're gonna go tell to VBS. Them the name. Tell them the name just in case if they want to come. I don't know the churches. I'll put that on the screen. But yeah. On the description. We're three minutes away, so by the time we get there, it will be time. Six o'clock. And we have took our dogs to the room and they look cute and Ollie looks like a Girl. Yeah. Because because of his ear. But VBS is from six to eight. Mm. Y'all, I'm starting to love. She's I don't know not if I said shiny, this. By the way, that's just the sun. I don't know if I said this in my last video. You'll have to. I have to play, look back at it. But I have been doing nothing but concealer. Mm. No <laughs> um foundation, just concealer. Give fill in my brows and then of course blush and a little contour i like it so comment and let me know what y'all think Ew, I need some. I don't got but no don't get the fall off my we're thing. not oh my thing is my hair looks a mess so i just throw my little bantu thing <laughs> if y'all start fighting i'm pulling the car back and drive and driving back forward Yay. we're playing we're playing no it didn't sound like playing yeah, so bbs is from six to eight they already had their dinner. How was dinner? Oh, the trash can. Kieran needs to come get it. So, um, you could text him. I'll text him in a second. And I'm bagging up backwards. Wow. But yeah, BBS yeah, is from. Like look at the neighbor. They're probably saying, What is she doing? And he's not even paying attention. Oh, he almost hit the car. Yeah, both of us did. But I'll let y'all know how VBS goes tomorrow because I'm really not going to come back on today. VBS tomorrow? So. Why aren't you in the
later, I have not been coming on the camera. Um, just been enjoying slow rolling every single day and y'all like, I'm feeling amazing. So I am up early this morning. We are not gonna go to church today. Today is just a relaxed day. Um, the last two days have been very relaxing. So we're gonna get out, um, do something with the kids today. And then in a little bit, I'm going to have some time to myself. So I'm gonna get out of the house. That's why I went ahead and got dressed early. But right now I am sitting here just embracing and basking in God's goodness, just his grace, his mercy, just sitting here reflecting and enjoying all the peace that is in my soul right now. I just had a juice that me and Ken have been drinking for three days. It's a detox juice. It's really doing what it's supposed to do, but I'll let y'all know for sure in the next video and give y'all the ingredients, but I'm telling you, it is a weight loss juice. It's working, but I'm going to wait until the next video after this one so I can give y'all like an update and let y'all really know what's going on. We're going to make the kids breakfast. They're all asleep. And um, I just want to have their breakfast already cooked. So if they do get up by the time, um, you know, while I'm gone, they'll have something. Welcome to another beautiful day in the vlog. <laughs> kids breakfast is cooked and prepared I'm about to have an iced coffee and then I'm gonna head out I need to go um, I have a target pickup order I also need to run by Walgreens I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx Ross and I think that's it but today I'm just gonna get out um, just to have some time for me but also I'm gonna start working on um my two nightstands that i told y'all a while told y'all about a while back and then the desk that i picked up that i was going to use in my office but i think i'm going to use it for in like my eating area we'll see so i need to get the things for that i also need to i don't know if i'm going to stop at home depot by myself or just wait on ken because i want to go ahead and get some paint and i looked up a color last night both agreed on like this olive green type color since everything in our bedroom was like dark wood so i'm super excited about just working on it because y'all know i love to do things with my hands crafts and diy and stuff like that so but first i'm going to get some iced coffee i did not show y'all in the last video but i have not had hot coffee or matcha in going on two weeks let me show y'all really quick the cold brew that i got if you are a person that loves coffee and you like it cold and you want it to taste like barista coffee let me put you on really quick so this is it i have used this one i don't know if i showed y'all i've used this one this all that's left but at Publix, i don't know how often it runs they were they were literally buy one get one free y'all buy one get one free and this stuff is sort of pricey and then also the Chivani Creamer, obsessed. These were also buy one, get one free. So the Caramel Macchiato, 10 out of 10, so good, even if you wanna put it in hot coffee. And then the cookie dough, I have not tried this one, so I'm gonna try this today, but it is the Busy Cold Brew. Take a screenshot, Busy Cold Brew, if you are into iced coffee, this right here is so delicious, y'all. I promise you, this is, it's so good. I haven't even been wanting matcha lately. Like, and that is not me. But it's just super good. They did have um 
a breakfast blend and then something else. I got the medium rose. I'm so glad I got it. So, so delicious. And the only place carries it is Publix. Um, I'm sure anywhere that's like a Whole Foods type of place, but try it out. Busy cold brew and then the Chobani coffee creamers. So delicious. So I'm going to open this one up and see what it tastes like. And we're going to go ahead and go about our way. I think it's plenty of things that I forgot to show y'all. I mean, to update y'all, I'm not even sure. But yesterday, we did get all of the kids' school clothes. When I say everything from um, shoes, belts, underwear, socks, uniforms, um, anything that you can think about, backpacks, lunchbox. The only thing I did not get was their school supplies because I'm going to wait to meet the teacher to get their list. But I did get certain school supplies that I know they'll need. Kimrick, we only got him like a notebook paper and pens because he they work through the ipad and because we pay for school that's a part of the payment so he didn't really need a lot but i told the little kids that once we go to meet the teacher and get their list we'll just go that day because meet the teacher is like two days before so we'll go that day because they like to have specific things their shoes and things we were iffy because we don't like to order their stuff online because sometimes their shoes and clothes sizes are weird. But I got all of their uniforms, the two littles from Target. I think they got um, five shirts, four pair of pants, shorts, skirt, and then Kenzo got two shorts. So that's what, four, five, six, like six uniforms. So that will hold them the whole entire week. And then we got their shoes off of, I think it was Nike.com. And um, we just let them pick their own shoe. I mean, you have to wear it, so whatever. And then the only other thing I got to get them is, I want to get them a school shoe also. Kendi wants the navy blue and white Oxford style kit. So I have to get those. And then Kenzo will just get another tennis shoe because Ken didn't want him to have like a school shoe. Yeah, that's that. Everything comes. We ordered their shoes. We ordered their backpacks. And I think that's it. I wanted to take them today and go pick out backpacks, but they wanted to find some on Amazon. So, hey, whatever. We don't have to worry about doing that now. But everything comes in between Monday and I want to say Monday and Tuesday. So, if I don't upload this video, I'll show you guys everything that I got. Um, but, yeah, that's that. Kimrick got all of his stuff from the uniform place, which whew, it was very expensive. And, um that's just a part of it this is our second year buying those uniforms no this is our third year because the magnet school he went to we did the same thing but the uniform pants started uh like 54 dollars, and then the shirt started 43 dollars. so he did have um i think he had four sets of each last year but you know us parents we want our kids to have new stuff so we just basically bought two and two which he has like seven uniforms just to add to it and then he has to wear the penny loafers but he did not want the ones that he normally get like with the little heel bottom on it he wanted the soft ones the penny loafers that's like the moccasin so we picked those up and um his school jacket for some reason the school store normally you just tell them your school when you go in there and they have everything in a section for that but they didn't have it so once he goes to probably next time he go to football practice he can just go on their campus store and buy the jacket and he wanted another book bag y'all know i told y'all last year we got him that spray brown spray ground book bag it was like 85 dollars. but i will say it's pricey but it held up because it's like leather but he when they had like their um when they won their last game last year they they ended up throwing orange paint everywhere and it got on the book bag and he swear he had to get another one and that was between him and Ken so he ended up getting another one of those so that'll come in soon and other than that we are squared away y'all like so happy about it the money that is spent on multiple kids for school is crazy but I can't complain because I'm just so grateful and thankful that God blesses us in the way that he does to be able to do what we need to do for our children not everything that we always want to do but god is just amazing and i just thank him 
all the time just for providing and making a way out of no way. Like sometimes when you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, he already knows what's at the end. So yeah, that's that. But let me fix this. I'm going to head out right now. It's 914 and I'm just going to enjoy my time out. I'm going to take my time. I did want to go to the thrift store, but they open at 11. And we do have plans later, so I don't know. I'll see, but. So my plan is to, I have a photo that I wanna get enlarged. Um, because I have a photo printer, I normally like can print that stuff myself, but this photo, I want it to be big because I have a project that I'm trying to do. Y'all know how it works. And I don't know. I um I have not printed I have not printed photos in a really long time, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I did bring it with me. I don't know if y'all can see it. But what I wanna do, I'm trying to see where should I go first. Cause I want to go ahead and get like my target order. But I, um, we're just going to go to Walgreens. We're going to go there first because it's right, it's right up the street from my house. But I want to get the picture. I think because I'm going to get them to match. Oh, sorry. I'm going to get them to match the frames that I have. And the frames are, I think like 18 by 24 or something like that it's perfect for the size for the wall that i'm using so i need to get the photos i want it to be full in the frame but from what i saw from what i saw wall y'all i'm sorry my camera's moving from what i saw walgreens only has i think what did they say i think they said they only have the biggest size which is I, I can't remember I'm all right so I was able to do it I hope it looks right um she said it'll take like 10 minutes so I'm going to go ahead I just hit the app at Target up and told them I'm on the way so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this really quick and then I'll come back and pick this up and I wanted to get this so bad. Like, I'm the type of person, I know I'm not gonna finish everything in one day, but I want everything all at the same time. Y'all, so I have them. I'm gonna see what they're like. I just looked at my, um, my frames in the back we're gonna see they look good she gave me one for free so they, they actually look really really good but yeah she gave me i said two and she was like let me find you a coupon so i got a free one thank you god Elvis. <sighs> I've been home for a few hours. I um, came and had some lunch and I'm sleepy. I did not find, excuse me. I did not find any home decor stuff. So I'll probably just try some more stores. Um, I don't know if it'll be today, but it is what it is. I did pick up a few things. It was a purse I was on that I was looking at for probably like the last few months. And the last time I didn't want to pay that amount. And then I went back a second time, like a few months later or a month or so later, Kim was like, let me get it for you. I'm like, no, I think they're going to mark it down, but I wasn't sure. Went in there today, they marked it down. It came home with me. So <clears throat> I got a few tops for Ken. I also, I looked for my kids, but I didn't see anything in there that I liked. And then I picked up one little jumper for me 
and I got that purse and then I just got me some jewelry of course like I'm not leaving TJ Maxx without jewelry so I'll show you guys that in a little bit we are supposed to have been left but it was a zero turn that Ken had been wanting and y'all God made a way where he got it like I'm so happy for him and he has some stuff that he um you know wants to do for himself and work on soon so i'm super excited he is about to take the trailer back that he hooked to his truck and once he come back i guess we'll start getting dressed so i'm gonna take a quick nap i took my nap i am well rested so now i'm just in the bathroom about to do something to my hair i have not used one curls in a long time i'm gonna have to see the outfit but it's just like ripped tank this fashion over oversized shirt and then high-waisted shorts this is my look for today i just want to get out with my family continue to have a amazing day sunday eat some good food have some dessert and yeah enjoy the rest of my weekend before the week starts so we decided oh that's ugly we decided that we're going to well not we Kimrick he's getting on my mind he wanted to go downtown but Ken said when he went to take the trailer back it was flooded down there so now Kimrick is saying he wants to go back to Top Golf so we're gonna go with what we originally said and I think it's about five four or five might be five, I don't know so we are going to, we're going to head that way. Everyone, well, Ken is in the shower, we'll wait on him. All three of the kids are dressed. I literally just threw this on. I have to find some shoes. I think I'm just going to wear possibly, I don't know if I want to do tennis shoes or just some cute slides. been doing this every day I've never vlogged it and showed it maybe in some upcoming videos but y'all I do some killer cardio I just got done and I do it outside it's so hot but I love to sweat when it's needed so I'm gonna get cleaned up and then I'll come back okay I am back I did not want to get in the shower but I wanted to clean up my face so if I look tired I'm not but your girl just had a great workout kudos for me so before I end the vlog, I told y'all that I was going to show y'all the things that I got for school. Um, I don't think I'm going to show everything because some of the stuff is just main khakis, um, polos. So, but I am going to show y'all the shoes that I got the kids. So I told y'all we got the small kids shoes from Nike.com. Kenzo got the Nike Dunks, the low tops. Him and Kendi are into high tops. Um, I don't really like high tops for her, but they actually didn't have high tops in their size. So y'all, it is gloomy out. I got all this stuff to show y'all. 
but it is gloomy out so i did turn up the resolution hopefully it doesn't look too crazy but that's what i have to do when the lighting isn't good and i finally had my office to myself for once so but kenzo got these and i like to get their shoes a size bigger so we got him these in a size one they're super cute he picked it yeah we got these for him in a size one super cute i told ken they remind me of the little shoes that chucky had on and we'll order him another shoe probably like a week or so after school Cindy ordered she wanted some nikes so we ended up getting her what are these called because i don't know these are the jordans the number ones low top so she picked these and i love the metallic on there but i do want her because she's a girl i want her to still have like a preppy school shoe so i'm gonna go the weekend and get the oxford navy and white um string up shoes and she can wear those with like her skirts and long socks but they're super cute she did like them and she had plenty of room also and then for kenrick i have so much stuff in my office I'm probably going to try to straighten it up, maybe Friday evening or something like that. And then Kimrick, we got his shoes. We did not get them from the uniform store this time, um, only because they did not sell the soft penny loafer like moccasins. So we went to shoe station and he got the, um, the loafers of his choice but they are the Born brand. If you know about Born brand, they are great quality leather shoes and they are also known for being really comfortable. So they have this cushion on the inside, but this is what he picked. Me and Ken both said we wanted him to get the loafers like he already has, like the hard ones with the heel, but y'all know how high schoolers are. And then I'm just gonna show y'all just a few things um, just in case if you are doing last minute school shopping. But the backpack, Kenzo picked his from Amazon. I'll try to link everything if you are interested. I don't really know. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't really know if y'all will be interested or not. Um, So I might not link it because it takes time. But if y'all want me to link something, I don't mind. I might just pop it up on the screen. But he picked. And one thing I like about when I get them backpacks, even if it's from Target or TJ Maxx, Target is the only store that normally don't, that I remember that don't have on um, like the sets where it comes with like the lunch box and the backpack. But every, mainly every backpack that was on Amazon came with backpack, lunch box, and pencil pouch. And this book bag said it was a teen backpack. And it is really big. It doesn't look as full, but we opened it up. It's very, very full. And then it just came with a pencil pouch. And y'all, this lunch box, y'all know I love fixing my kids big lunches. This lunchbox is so full and it's insulated on the inside. And I'm going to personalize everything that they have. That's, I love to do that. And I'm going to put his name on this lunchbox and then I'll probably find one of these logos and put them on there as well. And then I'll put it on the pencil pouch. Kendi's book bag came from Amazon also. It came for some reason, we ordered it at the same time, but it came in two different shipments. Her book bag is really cute and girly, per usual. And she got this one, y'all. It is so big. It has compartments all on the front, compartments on the back, and then it has so many compartments on the inside. And hers also came with a lunchbox and oops, a lunchbox and a pencil pouch also. So I'm probably just going to personalize her name up here and then i'll personalize her backpack probably right here also just because every school year someone always has the same backpack i've experienced instances where they switch um jackets and things like that so that is one reason why i like to personalize all of their stuff I get them a different tumbler cup every year. I normally like to get the, um, what is it called? Hydro Peak. I love that brand for the kids, but this year they had these cups 
I was gonna get the towel cups like I always purchase. I was about to purchase those. I think they were $12, but Walmart has the Mainstays brand. This is the 24 ounce double wall stainless steel cups. So I was excited that I only got these for $7, y'all. I will link this type of stuff in the description box, but $7, they had a whole lot of them. They also came in white. She wanted white, which she gets that for me, but white will get nasty very quick. So I'm gonna personalize these and I cannot wait to do that. I wanted to get them the fancy crayon boxes. The reason why I didn't get them is because normally their teachers don't want them to have them. So I just got these and I'll just put their names on it just so um, they can put their stuff in it for home. Other things are just like, uh, Target had a really good deal on their socks and underwear. And I did pick up underwear, socks. They, um, I think they were like $3 off of socks and underwear. So check them out. They have been having 20% off ever since um, what the middle of July because that was Alabama's tax-free weekend. But we just went and everything was still the same. So if you are looking for last minute things, hit up Target, whether it's uniforms, school supplies, or just essentials that you need for the school year. I got just main supplies, um, markers, things like that. And then these socks are so hard to find. Like I, you cannot find these socks anywhere that have good quality, like the school store where we got Kieran's uniform from. So we got these socks for the kids because I love them to wear white socks. If you are a mom or a parent like me and your child wears white socks, they do not stay white long. They get holes in them quick. And also I make them take their socks off after school y'all i spray them down and they still get dingy and black at the bottom so we're not doing white socks this year and i'm also not doing ankle socks this year so i like the crew socks we got the navy blue and i'll probably get more of these um i don't know if everyone has a zogabies but that's the only uniform store that we have and i think these were what eight dollars or something a piece something like that got pins and things like that for camera in the end Kimrick's uniforms, he has, he has come from the uniform store and it's just, he has to wear the regular Oxford style shirts. And when I took this one out and then of course they have to have their logo on there. So that is what his uniform looks like. And then the pants are just, y'all for this price, I wish I could have made them. But this is what he has to wear. And that's the only thing for him. They have to also wear a uh, tie when they have their, what is it called? I think on Wednesdays because they it's a Catholic school, but we didn't have to buy that. He got one last year. I got them built. And then these are all of the kids. These are all of the kids' school uniforms. I normally get her pleated skirts. This year she wanted this kind of skirt where I normally get the pleats all the way, all the way around, but this is the skirt she wanted. And then she's never gotten Bermuda shorts, but she wanted Bermuda shorts, so I got her a pair of those. And then she also got four pairs of school pants. I love these, y'all. Look how cute they are. And they look so good. I just, I don't know, I don't like on his body, the school shorts that go all the way down past his knee because he's so skinny and it just doesn't look right. But they had like the cargo style and they come right in the middle of his thigh. Looks so cute, like such a cute preppy look. The school pants, I don't know, it's like they made them different this year. They're super cute, but I don't remember them looking like this, but I just love the way they look. I got them both the straight pair. Last year, Kendi got, her and Kenzo both had slim, um, slim skinny or something like that but this was all I saw from Target I tried the shoes on them I tried the uniforms on them everything fits perfectly so I'm just so grateful and happy that we got everything for school the only other thing that I need to get them will be their sanitizers for their backpacks I'll get them I don't know if I'm gonna do a raincoat I know I have to get them two more umbrellas because the ones from last year broke and then I need to pick up some type of windbreaker jacket or their school is selling hoodies this year. So I'm probably going to look into those 
or I might just buy the navy blue ones and make them myself. But that is that for all of the school items. And then I'm gonna show y'all very quickly. Back here, can y'all see those? Those are my two mirrors from Target, my two frames. They look so good up on the wall. Ken helped me put it up there the other day, but I'm not gonna put them up quite yet because I wanna wait until I paint my dresser and put it up there to show y'all all at one time. To also show y'all what I got really quick from TJ Maxx, I did not forget. So the bag that I was telling y'all about, this is she, she is, in my opinion, so gorgeous. She is like a Chanel dupe, but this is a real leather bag. I have this same brand in three or four bags, um, and they are a little pricey to be not a popular brand, but it's a popular Italian leather brand. So. I love it. I have been eyeing this for a minute, y'all. And it's smushed in because it's been in here, but it's way deeper than what it looks like. But I ended up getting $45 off of this bag. So that is why I snatched her up. And then I also, I didn't really get a whole lot, but I'm still looking for different things for my nightstand. So fingers crossed in the next video, I can, um, you know, start working on that and putting that stuff up. But Ken also put the glass mirrors up so we can measure them and see. Such a vibe. It looks so, so good. But um, he's been so busy with working. He was like, just give me a little bit more time so I can just, you know, do everything that you want me to do. But yeah, only thing I need him to do is make my other, um, my other nightstand and then just help me with the sander he told me it's pretty easy so i need to sand down the dresser and then we just have to do the paint and of course him helping me hang everything since it's so heavy i just got another and the only reason why was because one of my necklaces i don't know what happened to it i take really good care of my jewelry but something happened to one of my necklaces so i wanted to i wanted to replace it i still have it but i ended up getting this what brand is this? House of Harlow, of course, y'all don't have all their jewelry. But this is the three neck chain and you can also wear them together or separately. And then y'all, I love this. This is by Arm Candy Los Angeles. I've never heard of this brand. I'm gonna have to check their website out. iCandyLA.com. But they have the double bracelets, so cute. And then, I found this to pair with it. I think I already took the tag off because I tried them on and Kim really loved this. Y'all look at the bangle. I know my lighting is bad in here so you probably can't see it, but look at the bangle. Like I cannot wait to pair that. But that is all that I picked up from TJ Maxx. Well, no, I also got this romper. I was gonna show it to y'all off camera, but I looked at this on free people, but I love finding dupes unless it's, I don't want to pay money for anything unless I like really feel it's worth the penny and it's just something that I can't live without. But this is the jumper. I know y'all have seen these jumpers. I call them like the painter jumpers. They're oversized and then they also have the pockets. I'll probably pop up a picture like, I'll probably pop up a picture with me wearing it, but it came with this cute t-shirt that is great quality and really, really soft. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I am about to start cooking dinner. I think um, we're gonna have baked spaghetti tonight, but with all ground turkey, I cannot wait to eat it. It's gonna be so good. But I also told the kids that I will allow them to help me cook dinner tonight. So I'm super excited. I love you guys so much. We are growing. I thank you guys so much for always supporting me, always being there, always being so kind and just showing so much love. And I just cannot do this without, excuse me, I cannot do this without God first. Y'all most importantly, just very, I'm just very excited for what the future holds, but it is the end of the vlog. If you made it this far, you have to love me in some kind of way, or at least the content. But if you have not subscribed, y'all hear them? 
I'm gonna get them off camera. But if you have not subscribed, don't forget to do that now. Like, share if you want. Um, it's not a requirement, but also give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. I love you guys. God loves you even more. And until next time. Bye.